Gemma Collins is one of the 10 remaining stars skating on Dancing on Ice every Sunday on ITV. Last week, Sunday, January 20th, Gemma and her professional partner Matt Evers, received the lowest score of the series so far, receiving 13 out of 40. Jason Gardner awarded her three points and Gemma went on to accuse him of selling stories. Read on to find out what happened between the pair. Did Jason Gardner sell a story on Gemma Collins? No, Jason Gardner did not sell a story about Gemma Collins. In the bizarre section of the Sun newspaper, it was stated he carried out an interview and did not sell a story. However, Gemma accused him on Sunday night's show of being the source of the gossip stories printed earlier that week about her behavior, critiquing her performance. Jason said, Gemma I know you were channeling Marilyn but we ended up with an Nicole Smith. That was because there wasn't any elegance. She's a woman that's in control of her femininity. You were all over the place. He added, you need to up the ante because we're not going to see big lifts from you, get any impressive moves. Gemma responded, can I just say one thing? Maybe if you didn't sell stories on me I wouldn't be so upset this week, so take that. As the 47-year-old judge tried to respond to Gemma but she shouted, boring, next. Don't sell stories on me. Don't sell stories on me. Please don't sell stories on me. Jason responded by saying, this doesn't help your cause. It shows you're just a brat. Listen to what we're saying. What Holly and Philip think about the GC. Speaking to Heart Radio on Monday morning, January 21st, Gemma's skating partner Matt Eva seemed to confirm that Jason was the source of the stories. He said, when it comes to dancing on ice, you have a choice to go through ITV press office to release interviews and statements and things like that. It's a bit controlled and people know what's happening. It's in-house. Thursday, the story came out that she was a disgrace to humanity, lack of a better term. Basically, ITV then came to us, because she was really upset by it and said, well that it didn't come from our camp, it came from Jason himself. Watch Gemma Collins' performance her appear to Sunday's show, reports had surfaced earlier in the week that Gemma was sleeping when she should have been rehearsing and that she had been complaining of boredom. Speaking to ITV's Lorraine on Friday morning, January 18th, Gemma said, Yesterday on the ice I was throwing up. There were lots of tears. My family have been very distressed. Obviously, it has caused nothing but endless pain. Did I want to give up at one point? Of course, I did. I can't believe the hate, the trolling, you know everyone turning against me for stuff that wasn't true. She went on, we sort of know where the rumors come from but we are just trying to get the person to stand up and admit it and apologize. They definitely didn't see me, I have text messages, I've got voice recordings, I've got telephone recording, confirming I wasn't sleeping, confirming that I never said I was bored, so it's just that person. Needs to speak up and say the truth as to what made them do it. I'll be honest, the show has become a bit played wars, everyone is at each other, I just want to have fun. I've enjoyed the experience. Yes it's been a hell of a week. Hopefully. The truth will come out. The person will stand up and be honest when it's all over and we can put this to bed. WHO left dancing on ice? On Friday, January 18th, Jason Gardner spoke to The Sun, calling Gemma lazy. He said, I can always see who's lazy. Gemma is lazy. She doesn't look like her heart is in it at all. I do despair, at the state of our society today and also the entertainment industry. I've never seen the show Gemma is from, I don't watch a lot of these types of shows, I'm too busy and life is too short. 
so I wasn't aware of this phenomenon that is Gemma Collins. He added, she is just insecure and using an act to hide that. If she could back it up I'd say she was fabulous, but what worries me is she's a role model to some young people. So I'd say to Gemma if you really do care about being a role model, and you understand the power and the privilege of the platform that has been afforded to you, then don't quit dancing on ice. Quit the BS and just apply yourself. I don't want to watch a circus. It has not been officially confirmed that it was Jason who was selling stories about Gemma that week. Express.co.uk has approached ITV and Jason Gardner's representatives for comment. Dancing on Ice continues Sunday at 6pm on ITV.